Hi guys. Um, boy, it's hard investing. Very hard. Um, I've uh, had my hands in my hair uh, the past weekend, um, uh, f having all kinds of feelings, feeling uh, sad, angry, um, Yeah, uh, thinking that my investment in NXT was a disaster and um, I really fucked it up. Um, and um, uh, I lost so much money. Uh, it's, um, and yeah, thinking how to, uh, what to do in the future and, and like the basically um, <laughs> desperation, depression, panic strong feelings um next he has dropped through the floor um it's a uh, thousand five hundred satoshi around that thousand eight hundred satoshi uh, in fiat at six million us dollars five million euro so i thought we saw a bottom around 10 but uh no it uh halved again in fiat and in Bitcoin, it more than halved. It was around 3,000. And now it's uh, half of that again in Bitcoin also. But um, uh, so that means that versus Bitcoin, uh, NXT peaked out at 13,000 Satoshi. It's now 1,500 Satoshi or 1,600. And um, that's um, actually it peaked out at 15,000, 16,000 Satoshi. That's only one day on Polonix. But um, but it hit twice in, in two different bubbles. Uh, the first one, the second one, it hit thirteen thousand satoshi. But you can you can say that it's divided by ten from its all time high uh, versus Bitcoin and uh, versus uh, fiat. Uh, also, uh, the uh, all time high was around eighty million US dollars, and it's now less than eight. It's six, so it's. It lost even more than 90%, it lost 95% about. Um, well, that's as bad. <laughs> can it get worse? Well, um, it always can. Uh, but um, yeah, I see. I think we are at a point where. Um, where. Um, where. 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 where um, I also feel that where, um, yeah, um, you have this very, very uh, typical uh, shorts about bubbles from bubble to, to, to bust. And um, we, I think we have uh, reached the point where, um, where, uh, It can get worse, but um, only very, very strong believers will invest. Um, so for me, I've looked at the fundamentals a lot and um and um i think uh, there is a lot that can be said about nxt that has not gone right um i can give you that list um it's very strong arguments why nxt sucks and failed um and i've seen those arguments myself i've gone through them and uh, I think there is a lot of truth there. Um, but um, I'm investing more in NXT today um, because, um, because it does have something uh, of value. Um, and that is the asset exchange. Um, Today they are still leader uh, in small caps, 
if you look at the uh, coin market cap of assets you see that the top assets are actually um, uh, quoted at counterparty so that's bad for NXT uh, NXT started the decentralized asset exchange the first one the first operational one uh, yet uh, it uh, and it was leader uh, but um, in the large caps uh, counterparty took uh, that pie and um, uh, most uh, new assets that are large cap are launched on counterparty but that also makes sense because they want bitcoins a lot of bitcoins and, um, and, 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 and if they would get a lot of NXT they couldn't cash it out without taking a huge uh, loss um, in uh, in uh, in um, in margin uh, when you want to sell NXT um, for an amount of say 100 bitcoins uh, about uh, 35,000 euro you will have to take a loss of at least 20-30% um, whereas with bitcoin you only take 1% loss to cash it out so um, into fiat eh? um, but with Bitcoin, the nice thing is that you don't even have to cash out in fiat as many people start to accept Bitcoin as a currency. So the developers that you need to pay, they may accept Bitcoin. Eh? So 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 um, you see that even people that, the, the, the people that started NXT uh, come from beyond and Triangle, they have a new project, IOTA. Uh, but um, uh, the currency, that currency, that new cryptocurrency is launched... Uh, uh, not uh, on the NXT platform, uh, but uh, on uh, just for Bitcoins, uh, they do the crowdfunding. They don't use Counterparty as a platform, they just keep it simple. And uh, you can send Bitcoins to a certain address. But they do that because they need Bitcoin, they say, uh, uh, because NXT is not liquid enough. They launched their Yin assets, uh, their hardware part of that uh, venture uh, on NXT, and they had a hard time... Uh, um, liquidating the NXT mm. Mm. Uh, without uh, dumping the price uh, so um, I understand these decisions and I think that's the biggest problem of NXT today indeed is that uh, the market is too small for large caps to launch their assets on it but okay uh, I mean that's not that big of a problem if NXT succeeds in keeping the small caps um, and um, and uh, then it can in the future uh, small caps can grow into large caps huh? so um, uh, I think it's crucial for NXT to keep that leader position in small caps and um, and and um, um, but it has that leader position today and so um, that's very good I think currently um, as an investor um, altcoins or the place to be uh the place to invest i've made a lot of mistakes i've realized um, um most of all by investing in nxt um when bitcoin was peaking out starting to invest then at the end of 2013 was bitcoin was had just peaked at 1200 and was uh, around the 800 dollars after the peak i discovered nxt and i started investing and pretty quickly i actually invested half my bitcoins in nxt uh, when bitcoin was still around 600 dollars or so uh, i also made that first video then why i invest half my bitcoins in nxt um i think my timing was absolutely wrong um i could not know that nxt would not succeed in becoming bigger than litecoin i i thought that was the case that's why why i was so bullish but what I could have known was that altcoins were not the place to be when Bitcoin just had the biggest bubble and altcoins also. Huh? Um, uh, Bitcoin in 2013 had gone up thousand times uh, hundred uh, uh, and, um, and altcoins many uh, also or more and, um, and so when, when you're in a Bitcoin bubble I made the biggest mistake was that I had still at the top an exposure of 60% to cryptocurrency of which was almost everything Bitcoin and only 40% uh, or 30% um, gold and other non-crypto investments 
that was wrong. I should have had not a major but a minor exposure to crypto once it was uh, clearly in a bubble again. Uh, and um, so I made that mistake. But then within my crypto portfolio, I made the biggest big mistake to have a large exposure to altcoins. That was NXT for me. Um, also at that same moment. Uh, uh, so you should really like uh, do the inverse when um, Bitcoin is uh, clearly in a bubble again, reaching new all-time highs, and from there tripling or or, or quadrupling. Uh, so meaning the moment it went through uh, two hundred fifty dollars, everybody knew, it was a fact that we were in a new bubble. When it then doubles, triples from there, and you're at 500, 800, even thousand dollars, then you know for sure you're in a new bubble. Uh, even, especially when this happens, it's only a matter of a month or so. So, um, and then you have very, very, very high risk short term for a bubble collapse and making a lot of losses. So you should have a minor exposure uh, to, uh, to, 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 to crypto, to Bitcoin, um, uh, to NXT, to... Uh, everything and um and uh, but inversely uh, uh, as today if you have had two years of bear market uh prices collapsing by 90 percent then you're clearly in a bear market and then you should have a major exposure to crypto and within that portfolio crypto portfolio you should have a, an even bigger exposure to altcoins if they have also collapsed even more eh, versus bitcoin today most altcoins have collapsed divided by 5 to 10 from their peak so not in fiat in fiat bitcoin went down okay with that 300 so divided by i lost today 70 percent or so because it's now 350 dollars but um um but many of those altcoins dropped even a lot more because they dropped even versus bitcoin so um Currently, I think it makes a lot of sense, even though it's very, very scary to do, uh, to have a, a, a very big position in a cryptocurrency, bigger than all the rest of your uh, investments. So more than 50%, that means for me. And that's the case. I have 75% in crypto invested today. But within that portfolio, uh, to have more invested in altcoins, than in Bitcoin, and you can even take uh, like crap coins, uh, because um, in the past uh, even crap coins have gone up more than uh, Bitcoin uh, in every bubble that I've studied. Um, so, um, of course, they collapse a lot more afterwards. Eh? So that's why you should have liquidate them all when the bubble is happening and, and, and in, in uh, like you should really liquidate strongly i did do that wrong but um today i think it's crucial that you do the inverse that you should buy strongly so that you have even at these very low prices uh, still a major exposure to crypto and within that crypto portfolio a major exposure to altcoins more have more altcoin exposure than bitcoin exposure um that's very hard to do that's why i've been suffering so hard because it's like it's falling uh, 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 it's uh, falling as they say uh, it's catching a falling knife um and everybody's looking down especially in altcoins in altcoins to do every looking down me included and how deep can it go and has this any future at all and um bitcoin shows its strength at the same time showing and and that makes it like very tempting to just focus on bitcoin and do the inverse of what you should do eh? liquidate your altcoins for bitcoin um so um but yeah, um, it makes sense, I think, uh, to invest more in NXT today uh, because you have a double protection. Um, at one hand, uh, uh, you can buy any shit coin, so it doesn't have to be NXT. It's just a very, very good moment to invest in altcoins today. But then with NXT, you also have strong fundamentals, as some other coins also have. 
uh, what, what does that mean for me, strong fundamentals? It does not mean anymore uh, that uh, you have a nice looking client or you have a, a, a strong um, like uh, architectural design. Like I, I think these things are nice, but I have overvalued those things in the past. Um, what what it, what's the most important is that you have uh, adoption eh? and that you are a leader in a certain market segment. That also is very important. Um, you are competing with Bitcoin and um, Bitcoin is very liquid, very, very, very famous, much more famous than uh, all the altcoins combined. Uh, everybody knows Bitcoin or many people know Bitcoin when you talk about it, but not to see like not a single person will know NXT or like it's extremely rare. So Bitcoin is not like now NXT is almost valued thousand times less than Bitcoin or you could say Bitcoin is thousand times more valued than NXT but it's not it's not just thousand times more famous it's like a million times more famous so you could say that NXT is still greatly overvalued uh, from that point, perspective and um, uh, so so uh, I think that it's very very hard to compete with Bitcoin um, and 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 so the only way you can compete is either being the alternative to Bitcoin, but NXT didn't succeed in putting its, its, itself in the market there. Um, in the minds of the people, when they talk about an alternative to Bitcoin, they start talking about Litecoin or Dogecoin, but not about NXT. NXT is not uh, did not succeed in that. So. Um, I read a good book about marketing, 22 Immutable uh, Laws of Marketing. He says there are not many positions in the market because people don't have much uh, uh, space in their minds to, 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 to remember all these companies. So th when you think about Coca-Cola, you only know 3, 4, even though that's a major market. And it's the same with car uh, manufacturers or uh, with um, printers or with uh, operating systems. You only have a few players, really. Huh? And... Um, and so with cryptocurrency, um, uh, that may become the truth too. Um, even though I thought in the past that um, you would have a lot of cryptocurrencies, just like you would have a lot of companies, I think I might be wrong there. And, um, and, uh, and, uh, and you will only have a few really one worth, worth mentioning. If you look at all the Coca-Colas, you probably have 50 to 100 brands, but they are like not worth mentioning they maybe have like less than one percent of the market cap all of these eh? like only a few have more than one percent of the market cap and so um that may be the future in crypto also and so he then there are not many spots available there is the leader then there is the challenger to the leader and then there are a few uh, that are focusing on a niche um but when I look at the altcoins, who has succeeded in getting a niche? I don't, and then I don't mean in technology, I mean in utility. What other crypto coins do you need other than Bitcoin to do something? You can do everything with Bitcoin except that I know of. Um, uh, if you want to gamble on just dice, you can't do it with Bitcoin, you need clumps. And if you want to. Um, but if you want to gamble in general, uh, you have a lot of options also in the uh, dice side segment. Okay, just dice is the leader, uh, so that's why. But but you have alternatives to to dice sites. Uh, you can gamble on other Bitcoin dice sites, but they are not as good as just dice. So so that's why I think Clumps has a utility, a unique utility uh, that is valuable. Um, but that can all change very quickly. The moment the operator of just dies, uh, have something happens to him, then that's gone and the utility is gone uh, of, of that coin. So that's very, very risky. Um, but yeah, you do need... Uh, like you have a lot of technology coins uh, coming with innovations, but uh, that's not enough for me. Yeah, Monero Dash, okay, they, they claim to have gr much better technology for anonymous transactions. That's great, but you don't need it for anything right now. It's not like I need that coin to buy something on the Silk Road of today because that still runs on Bitcoin. Uh, so, 
So, but yeah, if you want to launch an asset on the NXT asset exchange, you do need, or you want to buy there uh, an asset, you do need NXT. But do you really need that exchange is the question. Why not just use counterparty? And, and some have chosen for that, and there are already other platforms too. Uh, so, so um, uh, and that's a very good question to ask. I don't have, uh, as an investor, it's very hard to own your assets if you use counterparty. You can't really own the assets. Uh, you can, but it's a lot of work um, uh, because you're going to buy them on Polonix, so you, and there you have like, know your customer uh, rules so you can't really you have to give your identity so you can't buy anonymously these assets or it's going to be much harder and then you can't own them because you have to transfer the asset from Polonix to counterparties platform you can do that too and it's all, all much more difficult than just with NXT um, installing the client and uh, buying NXT and uh, buying the asset, you can do that anonymously and you can own the asset uh, quite easily and you can own the asset um, yourself. Um, that's automatic in the system because you trade it also. It's also bought via the NXT client. So as an investor, I see many advantages to use the platform instead of counterparty. But as an asset uh, launcher, um, you don't really care about the counterparty risk uh, that your investors have. Uh, you care about the amount of money that you're going to get. At, uh, and so um, then you can simply choose for counterparty and, uh, and, and, and you know, Polonix. So um, unless you want to launch an asset that you don't want to be, uh, that you want to have privacy yourself, then... Uh, NXT is important. Then NXT gives you probably you will have to use NXT. Then you can't really do it via counterparty, practically speaking. So that's very good. Uh, uh, so 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 that's why I still think that NXT has good fundamentals. Um, but so I think you have a double protection here. You can invest in shit coins uh, uh, but with NXT you also have something that you that has good fundamentals so um, that's why I think you can take the risk to have a major exposure to this but at the same time uh, I've been so wrong uh, the past two years um, if you followed my advice you lost tremendously um, and um, and so uh, don't take my word for it, um, because uh, <laughs> that could cost you a lot of money. Um, yeah, and also I think, yeah, yeah, voila, that was it. Um, I wish you all uh, a lot of luck, a lot of courage. A lot of uh, wisdom uh, and um, and uh, goodbye.